Hey guys, Coach Jeremy here. Welcome to the first edition of the Saturday Skills Session. Every single Saturday, I'm dropping a new drill or challenge for you so that you can keep on working on your skills over the summer and have fun. In this video, I'm sharing a drill that I created based on scientific research. So this is guaranteed, scientifically proven to help you with your accuracy. Now this video is sponsored by True. More on that later in the video. For now, let's get to that drill. If you're like most people work on their accuracy, you're gonna to wanna to shoot from your favorite spot which for most people, it's the slot. You get in the slot, you rip that shot, you're in a good position to score. So what do you do? You go home, you figure the slot's about 15 feet away from the net, you put your shooting pad there, and you take shot after shot after shot to improve your accuracy. That logic would tell you that shooting from the place you wanna score from would improve your accuracy. You wanna score from 15 feet away, you practice from 15 feet away. What if I told you, you're wrong? So this is how most people would set up. You're right in the slot, you're ready to snipe. Give me a second. This is what you should be doing based on science. Let me explain. Research has been done on accuracy, given the first study was done just tossing bean bags, and the second one was done using basketball players, but it's accuracy nonetheless. Results showed that players practicing their accuracy from the exact same distance, we'll say 10 feet, over and over and over, when it came to testing, they performed worse than players who did not practice from that area at all. So how did the second group of players practice? Well, they practiced closer and further away. So instead of practicing from 10 feet away, you can practice from five feet away and 15 feet away. So why does this work? The reason this works is because when you're trying to hit a target, your brain is doing calculations. It's trying to figure things out and quickly to tell your body what it needs to do to hit that exact spot. And when we're on the ice, we're always moving. We're not always in the exact same spot and we have to make those calculations quickly. So when you're practicing from five feet away, you have to do all kinds of calculations and adjustments and eventually you're gonna figure out how to hit that target from five feet away. And then we move back to 15 or 20 feet away and you have to do all those adjustments again until you finally figure out how to hit that target from a different distance. So with this method of training, you're not only working on your accuracy, you're really challenging your brain to quickly figure out exactly what you have to do to hit a target from almost anywhere. And that is gonna help you a lot more on the ice. So let's try it out. today? Well, I learned that I'm pretty accurate from in close, but from a distance, I definitely could use some work. So how am I going to fix that? I'm going to move that shooting pad even further back, go about 30 feet away, 20 feet away, keep switching that up, and also keep on going from five feet away. Change up the distance that you're practicing from, and that way, no matter where you find yourself on the ice, you're going to snipe those corners. By challenging yourself, paying attention to feel, and making changes, you can essentially become your own coach. But I'm going to save that for another video. For this week, just try this out, set up a few different shooting areas and switch back and forth, back and forth, and then try to shoot from right in between them. See if you notice a difference. All right guys, hopefully those tips will help you snipe those corners. You may have noticed I've been using the True Twig and the gloves lately. Uh, they're a newer brand in the hockey industry, but I really love their gear. They're coming out with some top quality stuff, so if you're looking for a new twig, looking for some new hockey gear, check out their website. I'll toss that link in the video description. Don't forget, I'm making new hockey videos every single week and every Saturday. New tips and drills to help you improve your skills. So hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.